and it came within inches of destroying the firm. It destroyed their careers. I mean, John Goodfriend had spent 30 years in Wall Street and had a fine, fine reputation. The king, the king of Wall Street was brought down by one simple act uh, of omission. The, all he had to do was pick up the phone. Jerry Corrigan was head of the New York Fed. He had to pick up the phone and say, Jerry, you won't believe this, but this crazy guy in our Treasury Department, uh, fellow named Mosier, has just done this thing, and I'm terribly embarrassed, and what can we do to make it right? I mean, it, you know, and Jerry Corrigan, being Jerry Corrigan, would have turned red in the face and gotten very mad and issued a lot of language I couldn't repeat here, but in the end he would have said, thanks for calling and telling us about it immediately, you know, and we'll slap a fine on you or do whatever is appropriate. And the, and, and the next day, the firm would have gone on fine, but what John Goodfriend, actually, you know, a, a perfectly okay guy, but he just, he didn't act when it counted. And Tommy Strauss, who was number two, the same way. And later on, they were fined and, and uh, uh, in a certain way kicked out of the securities industry. And Solomon barely survived. 8,000 employees around the world uh, had their future in real jeopardy because of that single act. Uh, so just, just apply the newspaper test. That's what